everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we are working on page eight of Sonora, page eight of Sonora. So we're gonna have two flaps in this, and they are six and a half by eight, six and a half by eight, and they're gonna go left and right. And then we're going to have a belly band here, and it is four, four by nine, four by nine. So on the two six and a half by eight flaps, you're gonna score a half inch on the six and a half inch side. Set that aside. And they're gonna get installed just to the left and right of page eight. And before I do that, I'm gonna turn it over and verify it's right side up, and it is. take the inserts out of page seven so I have a flatter surface to work with. The, oops, that was quick. The, um, the main image on the front is from a 12 by 12. And I just cut it in half at six inches, which is what's dictating the size of these flaps. There we go. Okay, now we have this one and this. This is what's gonna go on the front, just like so. <clears throat> and actually, it's part of a continue. Mm, is that right? Maybe it's not. Maybe this is what it is, yeah. So these two came together and I split it and I thought that was just a little too dull um, the overlap, so I'm going to use these two images because the backgrounds are so similar. I think it's very easy to do that. So this is going to be in the close when when in the closed position. This one will be on top. <clears throat> and I think I've got everything inked and ready to go. better. Okay, there we go. Okay, now before we lay down the second flap, the top, we want to locate a magnet. So we're going to place a magnet here and then put the opposing magnet on the other side. Got my tape handy. Install this designer paper. Okay, now we've got our belly band, and the belly band, once again, is four, four by nine. You're gonna score a half inch on the top and the bottom, or along on the uh, nine inch side. It looks like I forgot to put tape on it, so let's do that real quick. Thank you. 
and I'm going to put this uh, center. So let's go ahead and find our center lines. As soon as I find my ruler, here it is. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and decorate the left and right, the back, with the left and right. Oh, here it is. Ah, I'll start to panic. Um, flaps. So there we go. And these are um, deliberately nice and simple so that it's easy to place photos on it. This is what's going to go on top of the belly band. Again, all these are from 12 by 12. is going to be the piece that goes here and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put glue on one side and then slide it through and then add glue on the other side so I'm going to put glue on this side about halfway across This side that is still dry is the leading edge, the edge that's going to go in first. I'm going to hold it at an angle to keep the glue off the pocket page until the last possible second. There we go. Now I'm just going to lift this and add glue on this side, and that should be sufficient. Now we've got this pass through, so I am going to make a couple of inserts. 
and I want to show you what I have left. So I've got these 12 inch strips. I have one intact eight by eight. And then I have these goodies. Most of these are about six inches long and four inches tall. So definitely large enough to do inserts, but you can see we're getting to the point where you really gotta do a lot of color blocking uh, to try to cover a page. So it all worked out perfectly that we're finishing up page eight um, just as we are running out of uh, large scale pieces of paper. So page eight is the last uh, part of the album. Everything I have left that I just went through, it's gonna be used for inserts uh, around and about inside the album. So the cover has already been done. So this is just it. So I'm gonna design a couple of inserts and I'll be back to show you what those look like shortly. Okay, everyone, uh, while I was away, I went ahead and <laughs> cut and trimmed out this seven by seven insert that's gonna go in the belly band. And this was my last large piece. Everything else is uh, four by six, basically. So you can still do some additional cards, but you can't do very many um, unless you do color blocking, um, large scale ones. I'm probably gonna go through my scraps and add more inserts throughout the album to just try to use everything up. Um, I don't know if you guys are like this, but I don't like to have leftover paper because I can't bring myself to throw it away. So I like to try to use as much as I can. So I think I'm gonna do that and then I'll point those um, additions out during the walkthrough. Thanks again for taking time uh, to watch our videos and um, we really appreciate any likes, shares, and subscribes that we can get. It really goes a long way to helping our channel uh, move to the recommended um, and be recommended by YouTube for other like-minded crafters. So thanks again. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create. I'll be back soon. Bye-bye.